Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise Yudei Wave. In the name of the Son, the mighty God, Yudei Wave, Bet Num Sophie, Yudei Wave, Selah. Welcome to Black God to Yahweh Media. First of all, most of you already know, I don't care who wins. I'm a student of politics. However, the right and the left and these individuals that they place in these positions, they're the same to me. But something dawned on me this morning as we are on the eve of the new presidential candidate or the new person that's going to be in office or the same old person that's going to be there. Why so many so-called whites, Europeans, white supremacists, what is their love for Trump? Why do they see Trump as a God? And I really never understood this because, like I said, I'm a student of politics. So I remember other Republican presidents. Bush Sr., I'm going to say before I even talk about him, he means the same to me as the rest of them. However, he was more presidential. He was a war president. But the people that's on, they didn't like him as much as they liked Trump. And I never could understand what is it about a guy that is so unpresidential that so many people in the dominant society loves about him. And now I get it. It's because he is unpresidential in the way he carries himself. And the mainstream media, in front of the camera, on Twitter, on Twitter, he sounds like a tyrant. He speaks like he's straight out of the Gestapo. And this is what they like about him. Believe it or not, all the people from the dominant society who always tell you to be professional, to carry yourself right, they like a guy who's been in office for four years who acts like he had no home training. He is unprofessional. He is unpresidential. He acts uncivil. Let's talk about make America great again. Make America great again, it means to go to an era when white supremacists and police officers can kill Breonna Taylor and her family doesn't get $12 million from a civil lawsuit. Make America great again to them, it means to be able to go out here and murder us in the street like they're doing now, but don't even have the possibility of going to trial. Make America great again is seeing people like black Judah, and I'm going to throw brown people in there too, be indentured servants and be back in chattel slavery. That's what make America great again is to them. Now, some of you guys are deceived from my community, the so-called black American, black Judah. Your dead mind, you don't understand that. That red make America great again hat it represents your bloodshed. See, this is white supremacist code word and code actions that you don't understand. Trump rally is code for Klan rally. No one else has ever done this, held rallies before presidency and during a presidency. And he'll probably do it after the presidency. A Trump rally is code for Klan rally. This is the reason why, especially where I'm at in Kansas, so many of these people look at Trump as a god because they dream of a day where they can put you back in servitude and you don't get anything for it. And they can abuse you and don't have to worry about losing their job or going to prison, even the possibility of it. That's what make America great again is for them. That's why they love Trump. Because the way he speaks, it rubs their emotions and it takes them back to a time three, four hundred years ago. The things that he say, it is completely unpresidential. It is completely unprofessional on Twitter and the media. They want a guy that doesn't follow the rules because they don't want any rules. That's what they love about Trump. He presents himself as a leader, 
that's not held to a standard of law or rules, only his standard of law and rules. And this is why so many people are crazed over him. I was having a discussion with a white American, and he said when Obama became president, which I don't like him either, he said he stocked up on his gun and ammunition. And I said, is Obama coming to your house to take your guns? No one's going to take your guns. No president, no government is going to go in any white neighborhood, especially in the South. It'll be another civil war to take guns. That's not going to happen. We know that. That's not going to happen. All of those militia groups, they're not going to allow no one to take their guns. White people know this already. However, this type of talk just gives them an excuse to act out what they want anyway. All they need is an excuse. They're creating a narrative in their mind that the government is going to take their guns, led by the Democratic Party, and they're going to throw a black person in there some way. And then say, hey, now it's time for us to go out and cause chaos, start a civil war, target blacks and other minority groups. This is how they think. Obama did everything for gays. He did everything for illegals. He did everything for police unions. He did nothing for black people, but let a couple of blacks out of prison that had crumped up charges and was in prison and overstayed their sentence. Economically, socially, he did nothing for black people. So I just want to add that we don't know what's going to happen. The, the votes is about to end probably sometime today. Whichever one gets in office, they're the same thing. This is Black Guys at Yahweh Media. I want to say peace and shalom to the next video.